All right, welcome back. So we are here for another edition of Prodigy English. So excited to be playing. I cannot wait to get into the game. Let's go ahead and make sure we turn up the volume a little bit here. All right, so the game is loading right now and we are here. And this this game is quite interesting. Um, I've been playing it with my students in class and I've learned a couple of things. And one of the things is, is that as you can see, there's a little sapling, a little sapling growing here. Um, and that sapling is gonna take some time to develop. I don't know how long it's gonna take right now, but as you begin to play this game, you will want to make sure you're a good steward to the land and you are treating it kindly. So when we take a look at our to-do list, um, I'm going to make sure that I'm really just trying to take sort of the things off of that list as I build. I do hope that today I get enough to upgrade our market stall. So hopefully I'll get enough wood enough stones and then I'll stop and I'll need to sell some things for coins um, in order to uh, make our uh, build up our market stall and that's going to be my goal for the day but if I clear cut my area I'm going to have to wait for these saplings to grow back so I have to be environmentally conscious as I play which I think is really really cool that's a neat feature um, and an important thing for all of us to realize is that uh, when we collect, when we build, when we take ownership of a place, we are responsible for it. So, all in favor of that. And make sure that you're paying attention to that as you start your journey into Prodigy English. Okay, let's check our to-do list for the day. And so we need to earn energy, up to 90 energy. Collect wood, so get 18 wood. Break 10 rocks chop 10 oak trees so i'll be chopping 10 oak trees today and that should give me enough wood i think and then spend 800 coins in this shop let's see if we can get all of that done so um we definitely need to get some energy i'm going to come over here to this oak tree though and it looks like this is the one that i will probably be chopping down so let's get some energy by answering some english questions okay so we are going to start to answer some questions now and our first question says, what is a common noun in the sentence below? Now, a common noun is different than a uh, proper noun. A proper noun is a name or uh, a location that's specific. So if you live in the state of Arkansas, Arkansas is a proper noun. State would be the common noun. Your name is capitalized. So that is going to be a proper noun. The common noun would be um, a dog, uh, juice, pillow, those sorts of things. And this says a common noun is the general name of a person, place, or a thing and does not need to be capitalized. So does not need to be capitalized is very important for a common noun. A common noun is the general name of a person, place, or a thing and does not need to be capitalized. And we can listen to that. So our sentence is, Asher found his red bag. So remember, a noun is a person, place, or thing. So Asher is the person. That's a specific person. So that's going to be a proper noun. Um, red is not a noun. That's going to be an adjective. It's describing the color of the bag. So bag will be our noun. Woohoo! I love that little sound. Um, we are also looking for the common noun in this sentence. Brian is my father. So Brian is the person's name, the father's name. And my is not going to be a person, place, or thing. So we know that father is our noun, our common noun. I have a father and um, uh, you may know your father as well. All right, next question. Another common noun. What is the common noun in this sentence? Jade is wearing a red bow. So red, just like with the backpack, that's describing the color of the bow that Jade has on. And so Jade is going to be a proper noun. 
bow will be what we're looking for. That's going to be our common noun. There are so many bows in the world. All right. And another common noun. Mrs. Wright is a fun teacher. So fun describes the type of teacher you have. The, or, um, and so the, the type of teacher that Miss Wright is. So teacher is going to be the common noun because there are a lot of teachers in the world and hopefully all of them are as fun as Miss Wright. All right, now let's go ahead and get back to the game and let's chop down this tree, this oak tree. And I don't know if digging is something that we um, is helpful for the trees to grow or not, but um, I'm gonna be doing it right now. I'll have to keep on doing some research with that and try to figure it out. So I got a lifetime goal, which is exciting. That'll give me some wish coins. And energize. All right, I earned energy. Level one prize, let's see what I got. Three wish coins, woot woot, awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and X out of that and find our next tree. Thank you very much, Oak Tree, for providing me with your wood. I'll make sure that you grow back nicely and be a good steward for you. And here we go. I think I might have to get some more energy after taking care of this stump. Okay. I love that I'm not quite sure what the stumps do with removing them. It's, it's very exciting. I got one whack in, two whacks in, and ooh, look how hot and sweaty I am. Okay, let's go back for some more energy. So what is the common noun in the sentence below? Mon Monish is my best friend. So best is going to be an adjective that describes what type of friend our proper noun Monish is. So um, friend is the common noun. Let's check that answer. Okay, good job, good job. And what is the common noun in this sentence below? Hannah walked to the lake at five o'clock. So Hannah is a person that is, you would know who Hannah was, so she would be a proper noun. Um, and lake is going to be the noun for this one. Let's check our answer. Woohoo! Next question. We'll do one more and then go ahead and chop down some more oak. Uh, read the words water, read, lake, lake. Which choice was a proper noun? So proper nouns are going to be capitalized and they're going to talk about the specific place, the specific thing, the specific oh, person. There we go. That was the other one. So read lake is going to be our proper noun. It's easy. It's easy if you look for the capitalized letter, the, the capitalized word, the word that begins with capital letters. All right. And one more. What is the proper noun in the sentence below? So this, let's just go ahead and listen to him, remembering we can listen if we're unsure. A proper noun is a specific name of a person, place, or thing. Proper nouns must start with a capital letter. They must start with a capital letter. So the huge dog was called Rex. So Rex is the name of the dog. So they're talking about that particular dog named Rex. And it's capitalized. So we know that that is our proper noun. All right. Let's get back to the game. Ooh, we completed a daily goal. Yay. Awesome. Okay. 90 energy already. Ooh, that was fast, wasn't it? Okay, let's go ahead and chop. Ooh, I want to chop. I'm going to go ahead and X out of that. And I want to chop down this tree. Thank you, oak tree. Let's dig up our stump. All right. And then we will come on over here and we'll chop down this tree. Thank you, oak tree. And the daily objective is going to tell me when I have reached 10. So... We'll go ahead and stop after 10 and come on over here. Thank you, Oak Tree. Ooh, we might need some more energy pretty soon. All right, dig this up. Then it'll be important for me to save the rest of the Oak Trees for my next round of chop. 
of daily objectives and shop. Okay. Thank you so much for allowing me all of this to build. And I think I'm going to pick up some weeds here as well. They look fun to pick up. All right. And I'm going to need some more energy. I like to see your hot, sweaty face. Oh, okay. What is the proper noun in this sentence below? In the sentence below. My brother was born in Canada. So the country Canada, there's only one Canada in uh, our world or on our timeline or in our specific universe. So um, uh, we are going to select Canada. It has a capital letter. And so that would be the proper noun. Check that answer. All right. Next question. What is the proper noun in the sentence below? Did you know that Jupiter is the largest planet? So, uh, no would be our verb. Largest describes the planet, so that would be an adjective. So, Jupiter is the proper noun, but also the only noun that is a choice. So, let's go ahead and click that and check our answer. All right, we'll do one more question. What is the proper noun in the sentence below? Have you ever seen elephants at West Zoo? So zoo is lowercase, elephants is lowercase, so West Zoo is going to be our proper noun. We're not talking about the East Zoo, we're not talking about the South Zoo, the North by Northwest Zoo, it's the West Zoo. Okay, so back to the game and let's chop, chop, chop. Okay. All right, we're going to dig this up. Yeah, do make sure you're getting your daily objectives in, your daily tasks. Um so that you are getting those wish coins. Okay, and we'll chop and chop some more. Okay. Oh, and I've got a lifetime goal here. So let's scroll oh timber right here at the top. We will claim that. Woohoo! And we have three more wish coins. That is great. Okay, let's go ahead and shop this guy. And can we get one more in? Yes, we can. All right. And we got another red dot, so we have another goal. This is a daily goal for claiming wood, so let's go ahead and claim that. Awesome. And it looks like there's another daily goal for chopping oak trees. Great, so let's claim that. Wonderful. So we're going to break some rocks now, and then we will go ahead and spend some coins. So... We'll go to break rocks, then we'll check out the shops, okay? And I think we should have enough to go ahead and upgrade our stall, but we don't have any energy. So let's answer just a few more questions. What is the proper noun in the sentence below? Well, Dr. Reed is capitalized, and that would be the doctor that is the uh, going to check your eyes. So let's go ahead and click Dr. Reed, and we will check that answer. Fantastic. Next question. Another proper noun question. So my brother's name is Jackson and he likes pizza. So Jackson is your brother. So that is going to be our proper noun. Great. And one more. Complete the sentence below with a possessive noun. So a possessive noun is a noun that shows that it has... Uh, ownership or uh, something. So let's go ahead and click this and it says a possessive noun is a noun that shows who or what owns something. They are usually created with an apostrophe S unless the word ends in S. Okay, so the what tip is dull. The pencils tip is dull. So we have to find the apostrophe and that signals our brain that we're not talking about two pencils or four pencils or 73 pencils. We're talking about the pencil and what its tip looks like. So that apostrophe is very important in your writing and then also identifying in your reading. All right, let's get back to the game and let's go ahead and break some rocks. Cool. I think you usually get, I don't know if it's every time, but I think you get about three um, uh, rocks for like one rock for every hit. 
one piece of wood for every hit. I, it's not. It doesn't seem to be totally that way, but it's pretty close. There we go, and we'll come on over here. I think one more question, and we should be able to chop this up. So we are still looking at a possessive noun, and we're completing this sentence. Did you find Eric is going to be one of? Did you find Eric's blue dump truck? And so, remember, we need the apostrophe. Eric's would be those three Eric's over there look angry. And Eric would be that guy's name is Eric. So Eric's with the apostrophe is what we're looking for to show that that's his blue dump truck. Okay, you know, let's do one more. Here's another possessive noun. And it's saying, where is Sean's green lunchbox? So we look for the apostrophe and Sean's green lunchbox. This is going to show the relationship. C is going to show that relationship. So let's go ahead and check our answer. All right. Let's get back to the game. Continue to be good stewards. Take a little bit more rock, but then we'll go ahead and leave the rest of it. All right. And it looks like we hit our objective. For, ooh, it's a lifetime objective. We still have some rocks to gain. Claim. Woohoo! Rock Smasher. Level one. Way to go. All right. Three times wish coins. Fantastic. So it actually says to break 10 rocks. So we'll be breaking a little bit more. I thought it, that we were gathering them, but we need to break them up. And so that should be the fifth rock. So we should be about halfway through with the rocks. So let's go ahead and go back, get some more energy, and then continue on. I hope that we have enough supplies to go ahead and get that stall. Um, complete this sentence with the best possessive noun. Something's pencil is taller than Brandon's. So Mason's does not have an apostrophe. So that lets me know we probably shouldn't choose that one. Brandon's pencil is taller than Brandon's. There could be two Brandon's in the classroom, but we would probably try to give more information if that was the case. So Mason's pencil is taller than Brandon's. Uh, it seems to be the best choice. All right. And complete the sentence below with a possessive noun. Have you seen Akira's black cat? Now, Akira needs to have... That's right. It needs to have the apostrophe it has to have the apostrophe there and so if you need reminder just click up here and let's check our answer Woohoo! one more complete the sentence with the best possessive noun the cat's whiskers are longer than the cats so that doesn't make sense the fox's whiskers are longer than the cat's. Good, we're talking about the whiskers, so uh, we would need to have that apostrophe. So this would be two foxes, three foxes, or 914 foxes. So this is the one that's going to show possession. Possession of the whiskers. Check our answer. Awesome. And let's go ahead and break some rocks. One whack. Two whacks. And three wax. How many wax does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Roll? One, two, and three. I am having so much fun with this game. Um, if you have access to it, I hope you are as well. If you don't have access quite yet, that's okay. It will be coming. Um, it will be coming. So very soon, it will be rolled out. All right, I think we need to do maybe two more. I haven't been paying attention. I've been kind of chatting away, which uh, that is A-OK. -okay. Do two more questions here, and then we'll go ahead and we will finish up with this. Okay, so possessive nouns again, and we're looking for the best one. Calvin's flower has more petals than Sam's. So is this a possessive noun? Apostrophe S at the end. So yes, this is an apostrophe noun. Sam's flower has more petals than Sam's. Probably not. And this would be talking about the seven Calvins in your family. Okay, so let's go ahead and check our answer. All right, and we'll do one more. So now we're on plural nouns. 
A plural noun means that there's two or more, like the foxes that we saw um, when it was F-O-X-E-S. So let's go ahead and just click the light bulb so that we're thinking about uh, thinking about this. A plural noun refers to more than one person, place, or thing. Okay, so dog, that is singular, there's only one. Hamster, that is also singular, that's one. Dogs has an S on it. So let's read this sentence just to make sure it makes sense so we can double check our work. Bria has three small dogs. Yep, that sounds great. Let's go ahead and check that. Wonderful. And let's get back to the game and see how close we are to getting these rocks all cracked up. I think we should find one more. Hello, wishy. Ooh, my goodness. Where is my mouse going? Okay. Let's see. We're getting over to the seashore. I think I might need to answer a question. Let's see. Ooh, I have enough energy and crack. That looks like I got the rocks. I saw the red light pop up for the daily go. We want to get those five wish coins. Awesome. And now our last thing is to spend 800 coins. So to be able to spend 800 coins, we're going to have to sell a little bit. So let's go over to the city and we want to sell some things to the market. Um, I think I'm going to try to sell these roses. Let's go ahead and said, sell those. And we can sell... Our weed is only 8 gold, but that's okay. You can go ahead and sell that. Sticks, I don't think that I'll be using sticks anytime soon. Let's go ahead and sell this. So we'll sell these items. And I, we're going to have to pick a few more flowers, I think. Um... So we might need to get a little bit more energy, but really the main thing that I want to do is be able to build this to get this all cleaned up, our market stall. And we have enough coins, so we needed 20 wood, we have 25, we needed 20 stones, we have 48, we have 25 coin, uh, 323 coins, and we only needed 25. So let's go ahead and fix the market stall and see what happens. All right, we are done with this, and now that the stall is fixed, someone has come to visit us. Quinn here, he says, hello, Will, would you be able to help me? I'm building something for my dog, and I've run out of materials. Oh, we definitely want to help his dog, don't we? Do you think you could get me these? Quinn needs tw eight stones. We have 28, so we can definitely get him. And the reward is 1,200 gold. That is going to be awesome. Here you go. Wrapped in a little present. So cute. Wow, thanks. Here's your reward. All right, 1,200 gold. Way to go, guys. We are done with that, which is awesome. And so now let's go ahead and take a look at our uh, daily things. So spend 800 gold is what we needed to do. We now have plenty of gold because we just got 1,200 from Quinn. Thank you once again, Quinn. There's a tree growing on my road. Hmm. Okay. And so let's go to the general store. And, oh, there's a toy horse. That's pretty cute. Um, there is a barbecue. That hammock would be lovely. And that looks like a little trampoline. Wow, for 5,000 gold. So I'm not quite there yet. Um, down here, there are some recipes. Now, for this scroll tab right here, right now, you need to go the opposite direction. So when you want to go up, it's kind of like you would also you would move it um, the opposite way. So um, in order to get down to these scrolls, you need to make sure that you're sort of going the opposite way that you normally would. So this is the picnic table recipe. I think I'll buy that. Here is a wood birdhouse recipe. Well, let me buy that. A wood seesaw recipe. Well, let's buy that. Planter recipe. We'll buy that. Vases for daisies. That sounds lovely. A wooden signpost would be great. And a stacked stone. Okay, fantastic. So we can go ahead and build those and then let's go ahead and also build our uh, toy horse or we'll buy a toy horse 
salt uh, place. And so that I think should be enough for our last objective. And our last objective is going to be spend 800 coins. And that was 10 wish coins for that one. That is awesome. Now we also just achieved a lifetime reward, which is big spender. Okay, that's great. So we achieved a level one for a big spender. Fantastic. We now have five wish coins. Great job, great job. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, end this video. I think next video, what I'm gonna be focusing on and what I wanna do tomorrow is to start working on upgrading um, my tools. So if I have a level two ax, I can chop down the pine trees. And then if I have a level two pickaxe, I can break ore rocks to get some ores. And so you can see that I think both of them, I need uh, 45 stones, 45 wood, 45 hardwood and 45 wood 45 stones 45 hardwood so um it's the same it's the same for both of them i think i'm going to go for the ore uh first for the pickaxe and then i'll go ahead and switch over to the axe um because i'll be needing to focus on getting hardwood for both of the uh, tools in order to upgrade them. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm having so much fun playing this game. I hope uh, you guys are too if you are playing. If not, then I hope this helps you to understand the game a little bit better uh, once you get the opportunity to play. Uh, have a great day. Keep on exploring. Keep on learning. And I'll see you back next time. Bye-bye.